So recently I've been getting a lot of questions about where I find stuff for so cheap. So I thought I would show you guys some websites that I check out pretty often as well as show you some things that I got from those websites. So the first site that I check and this is the one I check the most often is Craigslist. And before I show you about the site, let me show you a few things I've gotten off Craigslist. $20 drum set. The $40 drum set. My Tamastar Classic. This Random Tom. My MIDI keyboard. This rack, which I actually got for free. Well, not the stuff inside of it, but the actual rack was free. That Sabian Paragon I got in a trade from Craigslist. This bass cab, which isn't mine, but the guy that owns it, he got this on Craigslist. My throne I got on Craigslist. And a fair bit of these records I got for free off Craigslist. And I've also gotten a lot of tools off Craigslist. Like my table saw, that big shop vac, this scroll saw, and a bunch of those clamps, this vise, this belt sander slash disc sander, this jointer, this toolbox, these big drawers, these two black filing cabinets, this chair, and that trash can. And I think that's all. And that's just the stuff that I still have. There's been plenty of times where I've like bought stuff off Craigslist and then the next day sold it for a profit. I remember I bought a Sabian Memphis ride. It was like $120, I think, I don't remember. But I went straight to Guitar Center and sold it to them and I made a profit off of that. So if you can buy something for that cheap where you sell it to another person that's gonna make a profit off of it, and you still profit off it, then that's a pretty good deal. Another one that sticks out is a guy was selling a set of bongos and a doom back for $20. So I bought those. I sold the doom back to Guitar Center for $20. And then I sold the bongos back on Craigslist for $50. So I made an easy $50. And then another one that sticks out is there was a tiller, an electric tiller for like a garden on the free section of Craigslist. So I went and got it. The guy said it didn't work. But I got home, I plugged it in, and it was fine. And my original plan was to scrap it, but it worked fine. So that night, I put it on Craigslist, and the next day, some guy bought it for 100 bucks. And the thing about Craigslist is you need to live on that website to find good deals because there's other guys out there that are doing the exact same thing. So don't expect to go on Craigslist and find like everything you've ever wanted for like dirt cheap because all the stuff I just showed you has taken years and years to accumulate. Alright, so I forgot to turn the mic on for this clip, which is really annoying because this is when I found the $30 drum set, so you can't really see my natural reaction, but I'll try to walk through what happened. Alright, so when you first get on the website, you'll be asked to put in your location, and then this is where most people go wrong. They go to the search bar and search whatever they're looking for, but a better way to do it is if you go to the center of the screen, you'll see the for sale section. And there's a few sections that I check. Uh, it all depends on what you're trying to look for. But I like to check the free section, the musical instrument section, and then the tool section. But of course, if you have any you know other hobbies, then feel free to check whatever you want. All right, so the free section is usually pretty lame, but sometimes you'll find something that's actually cool and something that you want. And when I was showing you guys all the stuff that I got off Craigslist, all the stuff that I said was free, I got from this section. All right, so now the instrument section. And the thing about Craigslist is that it refreshes every 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes, the new posts will be posted. And that's why you need to like live on the site to find the good stuff because, you know, as soon as it's posted, someone else is probably going to find it. But if you're on it refreshing constantly, then you might be that one. And it just so happens that I was the lucky one that day and I found this drum set. Uh, the guy was asking $40. I talked him down to 30 so now let's talk about negotiation. So actually before we do that, when you go to contact the person, if they have a phone number, call them because that's the fastest way to get in contact with them. If they don't answer the phone, give them a text. And if they don't answer the text, send them an email. So he didn't answer his phone. So I sent him a text and he's about to reply. So let's see what he says. Okay, so I'm going to pick it up tomorrow. Uh, like I said, you need to be lucky. And this time I was. And probably the greatest thing about Craigslist is that you can talk down the prices. So say you wanted a 1995 Yamaha Pacifica electric guitar, but you didn't want to pay 110 bucks for it. Usually if you say, hey, will you take 80 bucks for it? They'll be, oh no, but I'll take 100. And then you can be like, oh, well, what about 90? And then they'll be like, all right, 95. And you save, you know, 15 bucks. And the thing about haggling is that there's no harm in asking. So 
If I hit up this guy, I was like, hey, would you take 80 for the guitar? He might say yes, but at the same time, he might say no. But if he does say yes, then that saves you a bunch of money. And another thing about Craigslist is you'll find guys that are like totally cool, and then you'll find other guys that are complete dicks. So just recently, I was trying to buy a snare off some guy. So I emailed him. I was like, hey, my name is Dave. I'm interested in the snare. You know, are you free today? He gave me his phone number and said to text him, so I texted him, I was like, hey, this is Dave, I hit you up about the snare, are you free tomorrow? He replied by saying, after 1.30 p.m., and I said, cool, I'll hit you up then. And then at like 1.35 that day, I hit him up, I was like, hey, this is Dave, I hit you up about the snare, are you free to meet up? So you're sorry, I sold it. And it's like, that's just like bullshit, like, if you're gonna tell someone you're gonna sell something to them, like hold it for them and then if they don't buy it sell it to someone else so lesson of the day if you're gonna sell something on craigslist don't be a dick and then the next place i like to check is the used section at guitar center they have the used section online sam ash also has a used section online but it's pretty shitty so i'll only really check the used section at sam ash when i go to the store but the guitar center used section is actually pretty good so let me show you some stuff i got from there I got these hi-hats used from Sam Ash, they're like $200, and all those other Minel hi-hats that I ended up returning, I got those used online from Guitar Center. The ZBT hats that I bought for the Hoop Crasher that I ended up not using, I bought those used at Guitar Center. I was actually looking online, and I found these, and I was about to order them, but then I realized that they were at the store that I live by, so if you're going to buy used online, make sure you check the store because... You might save some money on shipping if they happen to be at your store. And by the way, here's the drum set that I just bought from Craigslist for $30. There's another Tom, but I like using four pieces. The snare that I hammered was used from Guitar Center. It was $30. The B8 hi-hats that I tried to rework were also from Guitar Center. They were used. They were $40. This headphone amp was used from Guitar Center. I actually have another one of these, but they're asking $10 for this. I was like, does it come with the wall adapter? They're like, uh, alright, five bucks. So I bought it for five dollars, and I used the wall adapter from the other one. So this one sits out here, and then the other one sits in my closet slash vocal booth. The six inch Peisty Accent I bought for twenty dollars used at Sam Ash. And then these Burl Power Adapters were used online at Guitar Center, and they were asking two cents for them. I was like, why are these two cents? So I bought three of them, but they only sent me two. I don't know why. But these were two cents. I have no idea what they're for. Well, I know they're for a Burl Mothership, which is like an A to D converter, which is a really expensive piece of equipment. So I don't know why they were selling these for two cents. So I don't know. I bought them anyways. And the nice thing about buying used stuff is usually if you decide to sell it, you can make your money back. And sometimes you can even make more. Those A custom hi-hats that I used to use, I bought used at Guitar Center for $120, and then recently I sold them because I wanted to get new hi-hats, but I put them on Craigslist for $150, and the guy bought them for $150, so that's a nice little profit. And then another funny story is I bought a Sabine Calhoun ride from Sam Ash. It was used, it was like $100, I bought it because it was cheap, I was like, I don't know if I like it, so I tried it out for like two weeks, I didn't like it. So I was going to go back to the same match to return it. But then I was like, wait a minute, what if I go to Guitar Center and try to sell it to them? So Guitar Center ended up buying it for $150 when I bought it right next door at same match for $100. Pretty good, right? And of course there's eBay. I only really use eBay when I'm looking for something specific. It's also a good place to find prices on stuff. So if you can check if you're getting a good deal. Also, if you have a piece of equipment that you don't really know the price of, you can check on eBay. So I actually have a video on how to do that, so I'll leave a link on the screen as well as in the description if you want to see how to do that. Another good site to check is drumfactorydirect.com. They have a little deal section right here where they sell like used and blemished stuff. And if you look right here on the front page, you can get a set of 14 inch snare hoops for $14. That's a pretty good deal. But if you go up here to the deals tab, they have a whole bunch of other stuff that is definitely worth checking out. The throw off for the $20 drum set snare, as well as the butt plate was bought from Drum Factory Direct. The butt plate was 50 cents and the throw off was like $10. I also bought a new hoop for the snare drum because the one that came with it was warped. It's actually right there. And uh, it was like $10, but if I waited, I could have got this deal and got two for 14, which is way better. 
This throw off was also a blemished item. I got it for $10. And this butt plate was also blemished and I got it for $3. So that's for a future project, which you'll see in the future. So yeah, those are just a few websites that I go to. There's tons of other places you can check out. You know, there's thrift stores, there's, you know, garage sales. You can go to local music stores. There's a place where I live called Metro Sound that sells used stuff, but they jack the prices out the ass, so I really don't go there that often. You can check pawn shops. There's this place called Music Go Round that's like an hour and a half away from me, but they have other locations. They also have a website, so you can definitely check out that place. It's basically like a consignment store for music stuff, so you can find some good stuff there. But if there's a store or a website that I didn't mention, I'd love to hear it in the comments. I'm sure all the other viewers would love to hear about it too. So before you go, I want to know the best deal that you've gotten on a piece of gear. So I want to know what you got and where you got it from. Also, if you have any tips on buying used gear, feel free to leave those in the comments so I can see them as well as all the other viewers. But that's it for this one. Thanks for watching.